Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we'll be looking at these two disturbances. We have uh, both of these tropical waves as Invest, Invest 91L, which is approaching the Caribbean. And there is Invest 92L, which is to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands, uh, given a high chance to develop. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update video on the tropics. And to to show your support for the channel you can leave a like on this video okay and so let us go ahead and get on with both of these systems and as we take a look at satellite view here we are seeing that we have both of these and uh invest 92l is actually starting to look a lot better than it did earlier and so for that reason the chance has increased for the system to develop however it is given very limited time so let's get on with the national hurricane center's outlook and so we're seeing here that there is a high 80 percent chance for possible development during the next five days and during the next 48 hours it is at 70 percent and so uh, it is likely that the system is going to be making its way to the northwest and then uh, making that turn towards the west as it is going to be lingering out there in the open waters of the atlantic but aside from the cabo verde islands it doesn't seem as though anywhere else will really feel any impacts from the system and so here it is on satellite we can see that we have that blob of convection associated with it so uh, the system is really trying to get itself together but again time is limited it has until the end of this week because uh, the increase in the upper level winds is going to be helping to inhibit any further development of the system here so it has limited time uh, to really get itself together out there in the Atlantic all right and so heading now to this disturbance invest 91 L and so we can see all of this shower and thunderstorm activity associated with it as the system heads towards the west and so it will be approaching the wind islands by tomorrow sometime and uh, it will likely bring increased precipitation because uh, of course we have all this activity taking place with the system and the national hurricane center states that uh, the islands should monitor the progress of the system and so i don't think that uh, development is imminent with the system here however if it is uh, really trying to get itself together though it lacks all the characteristics to reach that threshold of a tropical cyclone i think that if it is going to be bringing any dangerous impacts to portions of the windward islands the national hurricane center would designate this as a potential tropical cyclone similar to what they did with bonnie seeing this really reminds me of uh bonnie earlier this hurricane season and so as we take a look at the outlook from the national hurricane center for it we're seeing here that the chance actually decreased since yesterday so it is now at 30 percent for us to possibly see development but nevertheless slow development of the system is possible as it is going to be accelerating into the caribbean and so guys uh as we take a look now at what the conditions are like across the tropics we're looking at the uh, Saharan earlier maps. So uh, the yellows, the oranges, the reds, those colors are indicating dry air. And uh, as we head more towards the reds, that is when we have more of an abundance of all of those dry conditions out there. And so looking ahead of 92L, we're seeing that there is some dry air. And so dry air infiltration really helps to prevent uh, thunderstorm activity within tropical cyclones or developing tropical cyclones. Uh, as for 91L, we're not seeing a whole lot of intrusion, but still some in the region and so once we have our systems ingesting a lot of this it isn't likely that we will see a whole lot of intensification but the main problem for 92L will be the increase in upper level winds as we head to the end of this week and so uh, let us go ahead and now take a look at what the various models are expecting for both of these systems and we're going to be starting out with GFS and so here we have it the full model run isn't ready so uh, this is for the next five days and so we have the browns that indicate dry air meanwhile the teal indicates moisture and so as we head to the end of this week we see that increase in moisture across sections of the caribbean and then we eventually see that low pressure area developing as the system is heading into the central caribbean so uh, that continuous westward track is expected however if this system is large and disorganized at the time uh, then it is a possibility that areas such as uh, maybe jamaica 
even portions of southern Hispaniola could feel some impacts from this in terms of increased precipitation. But of course, that isn't guaranteed to happen. But it is definitely guaranteed for the Windward Islands, as well as maybe portions of northern Venezuela and the ABC Islands. So guys, that is what is on the horizon for you. And then we have the Euro now also showing that increased moisture and that low pressure area developing uh, as the system accelerates towards the west we see that low pressure area headed to uh, Nicaragua uh, maybe a tropical storm a weak tropical storm at that point based on what the euro is showing here but of course uh, this is not guaranteed to happen so we'll just definitely have to keep an eye on this system and as for icon icon is showing something a little bit similar to euro and uh, as we're going to be heading into the end of this week there we have that low pressure area developing as the system accelerates towards the west so all three of these models are keeping the system south of the greater antilles and not really bringing a a whole lot of impacts and here we have icon expecting that this is going to be intensifying as it heads towards central america so if you're there, you might want to keep an eye on this for the long term. But of course, uh, as I said, what we're seeing now isn't guaranteed to be the eventual outcome with the system. So only time will tell what is going to be eventually happening. And so as for the Windward Islands that are likely to feel impacts from the system as we head into the middle part of this week, I just want to reiterate the fact that uh, even though this might not be anything too intense, do not let that make you think that it won't do any damage or it will just be normal rainfall it might be in some areas however when we're talking about a system like this it is always a possibility that there can be flash flooding because once we have those extensive periods of very heavy rainfall then it is likely that in low-lying areas there will be that water pile up and eventually maybe some flash flooding in some areas so it doesn't take a very long time for an area to flood and once you see flooded roadways do not attempt to drive through them or to go through them because of uh, turnaround don't drown I mean when it comes on to any tropical systems the main problem is always with the rainfall uh, especially for tropical cyclones that are not hurricanes so that heavy rainfall can result in a lot of flooding and that is a uh, very very dangerous guys so please do not attempt to cross flooded roadways and it's best to take the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks although this system is not expected to be very strong so let's not underestimate what it can do because a very weak tropical Tropical cyclones have caused massive destruction before in terms of that flooding. So uh, even though it is just a possibility as of right now, it is best to still take the necessary precautions and stay safe. It is better to be safe than to be sorry. And so that is really it for right now, guys, in terms of what is happening across the tropics. So there we have 92L again, uh, a developing, a possibly developing tropical cyclone, however, has limited time due to increasing unfavorable conditions that are on the horizon for it. And then we have 91L, which can slowly intensify as it makes its way towards the west and into the Caribbean. And so if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with wise.